the ring gas giant of Saturn, aptly named after the Roman god of wealth, has acquired some more celestial bling in the form of a Moon King crown, as 20, yes 20 new moons have been confirmed in the orbit of the bejeweled planet, bringing its already gargantuan moon count up to 82. Now these newly found Saturnian satellites are gonna need some names, and that's where you come in. Due to the huge success of the Name Jupiter's Moons contest, Carnegie Science are again asking you, the public, just what these new moons should be called, only this time it's a whopping 20 names up for grabs. As you can imagine, there are some rules in place, which is fine, because rules help control the fun, eh Monica? Now since these moons were found in existing orbital groups, i.e. the Inuit group, the Gallic group, and the Norse group, there's already some naming conventions you'll have to follow. Basically, a moon within a group must be named after a giant from the respective mythology. So, moons within the Norse group must be named after Nordic giants, which are also known as Jotun. Now this is the fun part, as researching the Inuit, Gallic, and Norse mythologies is truly fascinating, and it's allowed me to make a few name suggestions of my own. For example, I submit for your approval the Inuit deity Amarok, a giant wolf who hunts and devours anyone foolish enough to go hunting alone in the dark, not to be confused with the oversized Volkswagen truck of the same name. <sighs> As for the Gallic group, I thought I'd turn to the Celtic folklore that's local to where I grew up. This is where I learned the Welsh giant Gurley, whose burial ground is actually on the map, right near Caer Gurley, the very town named after him. Now Norse mythology features hundreds of giants, with a personal favourite of mine being Managarm. Not a Pokemon, but instead a giant Nordic wolf who is prophesied to swallow up the moon during Ragnarok, the Viking apocalypse. Oh, and a final thing to note, before you submit a name, just check it isn't already being used by another moon, asteroid or dwarf planet, though that's actually quite unlikely because a lot of them are named after Greek or Roman gods. When you've found a name or two you'd like to submit, simply tweet at Saturn Lunacy with your submission along with the hashtag name Saturn's Moons, and be sure to let everyone know why you've chosen those particular names. Just a heads up, the more creative your submission is, the more likely it is to get picked, as the contest details say, photos and videos are strongly encouraged. Speaking of details, head on over to carnegiescience.edu slash name Saturn's Moons for more information on the contest submission rules, there's a link in the description. You have until the 6th of December 2019 to enter, which is plenty of time to fall down the wiki YouTube wormhole as you start researching the giants from the various mythologies. Or, you know, you could actually go outside to, say, a museum, a library, or even a centre dedicated to one of these various mythologies. So, start researching your name suggestions today and get working on some creative submissions.